What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K23 course showcase video. And today, we're diving to the new course, Tehachapi Trails, from the designer What Grenade Where. So this course is taking us to California, and it is beautiful. Grenade knocked it out of the park with this one, and I'm so excited to showcase this one to you all today. Get on out there in game and play this course, and let me know how you shoot in a comment down below. Let's see who can get the best score on the channel. So for today's round of golf, we're gonna be diving into this course from the back tees. So the back tees are the black tees here, 7,469 yards. And we're going to be playing pin set one, medium wind speeds, all the rest default conditions. I'm, I'm feeling it today. I hit the range for a while. The swing was feeling perfect. So hopefully that's a sign of good things to come here. Let's go ahead and dive on in. If you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and you can tune in to more PGA 2K23 videos here on the channel. You'll find tons of them. Let's do this. So I'll be honest with you all. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name of the course correctly. Odds are I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I did look it up. It's a city in California, so I'm not familiar with that area at all. So if you all are familiar with it, you can let me know on how well this course fits it. Uh, but let's go ahead and start this fly over here. We have a couple, a lot of windmills in the background there. We have the practice facility here to our left, the practice greens, then the range as well. Let's go ahead and take a look here. It looks like we have a racetrack as well. I, you know, I, I, I saw this in my previous flyover. We have a nice little golf cart racing track here. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. You know what would be really cool if the gamer ability squirrel Easter egg was this was a squirrel golf cart racing league, you know? <laughs> Imagine if the squirrels were the racers here on this track. Imagine big missed opportunity by Grenade on that one. Uh, but you have the farmland out on the back of the course here. It is honestly a very realistic looking course. You know, I, I, I can't say whether it's realistic to the region that it was designed after. But what I can say, the golf is very realistic. It's just a, a very realistic golf course. It's not an easy golf course. Not a lot of water in play. When the water is in play, it, it is dangerous at times. But for the most part... You don't have to bring as many golf golf balls to this golf course. Remember I said that. <laughs> so there you have it. The Hachapi Trails. Let's actually see if I'm saying that correctly. Let's get, let's get Google to check my work here. Tehachapi pronunciation. Okay, let's see. Tehachapi. Tehachapi, that's pretty close. Tehachapi. Tehachapi, that's what I said, right? Tehachapi. Yeah, it's close enough. I'm actually surprised I was that close, to be honest. <laughs> that might be a new record for me. Oh my, what is... So yeah, the, the fairways are tough here. You can see this first hole. You can either lay up or go for it. And I want to see if we should go for this. I tell you, at the range, I was hitting perfect after perfect, dead straight. And then we come out to the course and do that. Huh. You know what they say about good range sessions. Oh, well, they don't say good rounds follow. We've learned that recently. <laughs> I can tell you that. Okay, I'm going to do a, a fade, a draw, punch. I doubt Grenade had this in mind as a potential shot for this hole. Or maybe this was made to trick us. Look at that cinematic view. I will take it. That's actually a great that shot. Was. Just a little off on that approach. John. The green side rough currently. John looks, doesn't uh, know what that was, you two. I don't know what that was. It was a golf shot, John. I flop this thing close. This course is tough. It, it is a tough course, especially when you hit it like I did off the tee, but look at that flop shot. Some nice touch on that one. And wouldn't it be nice to save par on this one? That would be nice, John. We can make this. Steady left to right. And it's in. Let's Solid go. Showing here out of the gates, even par after the first. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Cheers, everybody. 
look at Ryan. Who's he? <laughs> what was Ryan looking at? I couldn't yeah. tell if he was acknowledging the fans or if he was kind of lost out there. Hey, speaking of this coffee cup I got, Cincy, opening day tomorrow, the day after this video goes live, March 28th. Your 2024 world champions, Cincinnati Reds. That's right. Let's send this into the hole. 171 yards, uphill four feet. The wind's going to blow it to the left. Let's put a little bit of loft and backspin on it. Not much. Your approach is heading a little leftward. No! That's okay. No worries. We'll be on the green soon enough. Well, we okay. found the gamer Second ability. Squirty <laughs> Shrek! <laughs> oh! The reason I said no, we almost took out that squirrel. Well, well, well. <laughs> ah! A grenade thought that was safe distance. Uh, from Ryan having that squirrel there, but no safe distance from Ryan Gamer. Look at that squirrel. <laughs> squirrel thought it was gonna get knocked out there. Okay, no, no squirrels were harmed in this showcase video. Thank you for the gamer ability, squirrel Easter egg grenade. You like it? <laughs> Got up close and personal to that squirrel. Let's just send this in. You like how it didn't flinch at all? That squirrel was like, I don't care. <laughs> Way to chip I'm not moving. Close. Well done. We'll take it. Well, behind us. Let's move on. You know, what would have happened if we would have hit that squirrel? We might have, you know, if if Ryan Gamer hits a Gamer Ability Squirrel Easter Egg, that's like an automatic... Yeah, he has to stop playing. <laughs> that, that'll send Ryan Gamer into ret early retirement. Okay, 443 yards. Dog leg right. Now, this... This course requires a lot of fancy driving because like, yeah, you can lay up or you can go for it on both these. This is beautiful design. Now, <laughs> this is not my type of play style to actually have to hit fairways, but this is love the strategy here. That's a great drive. We're still not quite hitting like I was in training or in, in the in the range. And this one's about 125 yards out. I even gave a big speech on the range before this video about how I'm probably gonna shoot 18 under. That was the probably the problem. 124 yards left, sitting right in the middle of the fairway. That lighting, I can't see a thing here. Why did it get so dark? Sun go behind the clouds over look how dark it got. <laughs> uh, somebody left a comment and saying the clouds don't move. The clouds definitely move. We just saw it there. So that was recently, somebody said the clouds don't move. They definitely do. You, you just saw it. You, did you see the sun go behind the clouds there? So they're slowly... We'd have to sit there and watch. I'm not going to sit here for the rest of the video and watch the clouds. <laughs> but the clouds do definitely move. You saw them move and cover the sun there. <sighs> so they do actually move. It's just you're never out there staring at them. That wasn't our greatest shot. Tempo was great, but nice approach. So the greatness stopped. The cup. Thirty feet uphill, one foot steady right to left at the beginning. Then it cuts back the other way. This course has it all. You have the farmland. You have a racetrack. Cut! 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 Oh. The only thing left to do is sink this putt. And get your par. And your no birdies your par yet. Currently. This course doesn't mess around. This is for one of those fairway finder golfers. And teeing this one up on the fourth. If you don't hit fairways, well, I tell you that one cloud that's blocking the sun over there. I mean, it's gotten so dark here. 
Is that out of bounds? This is a major championship style course right here. Like, this is terrifying. I'm going for it. That sounded good. John says it sounded good and it looks good too. That's just perfection. Let's go, baby. I was nervous. I thought for sure we were going to smack it out of bounds. And second shot here on the fourth. Are you all thinking what I'm thinking? Grenade, you come across this video wherever you are out there on the World Wide Web. This Albie's for you. Look at this cream. This course is insane. This is a major championship course. Going for it, though. So much for you, Grenade. That's how I was hitting in training. Everybody remain calm. Everything's fine. We have eagle shot dedications well all the time. We have tons of eagle putts on shot dedications here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. Under with this if you're new right here, here, don't go back and watch the other course showcase videos. And yeah, let's go with that. 26 feet, steady right to left. It's up the hill slightly at the beginning and then back down. Very makeable eagle for a grenade. No, well, that's going right by the hole, isn't it? This putt is about 11 feet. I'm not going to say a word. We're just going to send this in for dedicated birdie. It's getting there. Yes, that now one's for that you. What shot. grenade wear? Birdie. First birdie of the day. That's three points dedicated to the designer. You brought your score down to one under after that one. Careful out there. Here's everybody. What happened bowling. to the sun? I don't even remember where it was, to be honest. Well, where, where the sun went behind the clouds somewhere here, like maybe there. It's up there somewhere. 216 yards, downhill three feet. Steady tailwind, but look at this green. This is insane. This is what golf is like in California? Come on, come on, bounce to the right. That's perfect. And then go up and then come all the way back down. Into the hole. Don't you stop. That's why I love hybrids right there. What a beautiful there. shot. Found the, green there, and that's, uh, understating the sun's it. starting to peek out of the clouds. Dealing with for a birdie. Tough putt here. I mean, eight footer here. A lot of left to right movement. Looking good. Yeah, it's another one. That one, and that's back to back. Birdies. We're heating up. Look at Ryan Gamer just with this the smooth fist pumps. He's feeling it. After that hole, you're two under par. This and honestly on the sixth hole now. It's one of those courses where I can shoot over par. It's courses like this that require precision off the tee are usually my worst enemies. That's a tough course, though. Like, if you miss your spots, you're in trouble. Love the design, though. Every single golf hole requires a decision off the tee, and when you hit it like that, it's always right, a good decision. Here, looking like but about 165 to the pin. if you don't, good luck. 167 yards, uphill 10 feet. Let's go 7-iron. Put it out here to the right, let the wind carry it into the hole. Uh, left. or not. Left. So that wind played like a it's well, cross headwind, okay. right? That's okay. We'll get on the green, maybe on the next shot. So I misread the wind. Third I guess it was shot. more in our face than it looked. That just ate the ball up. Gotta hit it a little bit more. Had a good line, honestly. Your look at par. 
We'll take our par. It's tracking. It's a bogey-free round. Your par right there. Hopefully, I don't regret saying that and jinxed it. But we're playing good golf. Not playing great golf, but par after that one. Playing good. 440 yards, uphill nine feet. Oh my! What have you done here? What grenade? Where? I mean, what else are you going to do there? I, I I guess you could full send it and maybe hit the fairway. You see how he looked like he flattened out that area about 15 feet ahead of our ball. You can hit it there, but wow, it's dangerous. 145 yards away. 147, uphill 16 feet. We got a little bit of cross tailwind. I like the pitching wedge here. Ah, uh, not being uphill. Yeah, let's go pitching wedge de-lofted slightly. That's not what I was trying to do. Looks like this one's going left. At least there's fairway and light rough over here, not well, just heavy. Missed the green on that one, but uh, I've already forgotten about it. If you've already forgotten about it, why did you mention it, John? You could have just moved on. Leave it in the past. 19 yard chip shot. I'm going to do quite a bit of loft and backspin. A tough, tough chip. Not a lot of green to work with here. That's pretty good. That's perfect. I mean, honestly, it's about the best we can hit that ball, and it rolled out quite a bit. That's still a great chip. Ten feet to the cup. Well, the putt appears to be online. Oh, maybe... Maybe I went up there with too much confidence. A little too much pace on that one. I just did not see that moving okay, that much. Cl clearly, clearly I was wrong. But okay. I uh well, it's heading towards the hole. And we'll mark down the bogey and move on. I mentioned something about bogey free earlier. I did, didn't I? That hole will bring your score up to one under. 621 right yard par five i am not afraid of that water one bit like you see that you see that rough up there aim for the rough let the wind blow it over we're going for this i'm not afraid we're caught up in some brush did we hit that tree <laughs> did we just hit that tree that was an interesting swing plane that's one of the most unique swing planes I think I've ever executed. So. All right, second shot on the eighth. <laughs> that swing plane, what was that? It was like a, I don't even know. There's no drawing that, like a word for the drawing that could describe that. It was a very unique swing path and it led to a great drive. That's what I was trying to do. And look at this mean creek. I'm going to the left here. And we're attacking this thing. Oh no. No, it's perfect. Stay. Okay, we're in the green side rough. Let's That's get out just of mean. Here. That would have been an easy putt. Now we're left with a light rough chip shot. That's such an unlucky roll. What a fun golf hole though. Even more fun if we make this. Nice tempo on that chip. Just nice and easy. Well, well you done. know, the best way to erase a bogey is get a birdie, birdie right after. It's a solid front nine and back to two, two under. under par for the round. Could have been a lot worse. I, mean, I feel like we're hitting pretty good fairway percentage. Maybe like 80%. And that the ninth hole is ready it has for to us. be. Hopefully you're ready for it. Oh, I'm ready, John. I don't think we missed many fairways, to be honest. <laughs> Remember I said that. 386 yards uphill one foot. It's a shared green here. Are you all thinking what I'm thinking? The wind's going to blow it. It's going to hit the fairway, bounce up onto the green. Oh. 
Are you all think what I'm we'll thinking? Just a little. Branches here. Let's hit a shot into the woods. You were. We're Check on the off. same page. Here's our second shot on the ninth. 89 yards. I think this is a good spot for the lob wedge. Yeah. Look at that lie, though. 61, 75 percent. Wow. Oh, okay. Must have landed in somebody else's divot over here in the rough. <laughs> no, it makes sense. Look at this grass we're in. What? That's pretty good. That's really good. Oh, just look at this green. So you really should not go for that. A little wayward on that approach. This is what our third shot's looking like. Hindsight's 2020 though. We should not have went for that. That thing, that was a trap. Believe it or not, designers try to trap golfers a lot of times. Ooh, nice Bizarre. Chip on that one. <laughs> you know, they create something okay, and they're like, I know how we can get the design. I know how we can get the golfer to go for this. That's why they're so good, right? Like, the strategy on this golf course already through the front nine, amazing. Every single hole, you had to make a decision, attack off the tee or not. And this is great design. Every single golf hole. Very realistic course, requires a lot of strategy. Well, Love this. One went, wasn't, wasn't exactly hard. The grenades tried to trick and us, right? It's that's great golf underpower. design. Got a right to left breeze on this hole. You always have that shot, right? It's like, okay, I could go for this, right? I could go for this. Or lay back and have a better shot. <laughs> okay, speaking of that. <laughs> Come on, Ryan. One time. Get your one times ready. Yeah, we need a one time off the tee here. Oh man, that's wet. <laughs> huh. Well, it looked like... It looked like... That ball was gonna stay in the rough. <laughs> well, well, well. Let's just place it here. Alright, we got an elevated green. Might need some more club. <laughs> You know, remember what I said at the beginning, there's not a lot of water in play? That That is true. And that water is very much in play if you attack it like I did. We got a bad bounce on that one. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't dedicate that one. I don't know why I would dedicate a tee shot. I know better than to do that unless it's a par 3. A shot? What? Approach shot worked out just fine. Here we go. Drop this and save that par. That was a gorgeous shot from that rough. 22 feet left. Steady downhill. We got a par chance. Not an easy par chance, though. Putt's going to be fast. I mean, these green speeds are 164s, which means they're pretty fast. Go in. Good touch. Ooh, so close. Attempt from way back there. You know, when I mentioned about the bogey free round, after that one. we ended up with two bogeys. That's why you never mention it. Even if you see it. I have a and bad habit of doing this that. One up on a par, five. par five. Wow, am I glad to see you. <laughs> of course, there's another chance, right? Of course, there's another chance. The other chance is you can full send it, bounce it over the water. What? Wait, can you? The water doesn't show up on the caddy book. You see that? Don't trust your caddy book. There's most definitely water there. Huh. I guess you can't really go for it. You can. You gotta be really brave though. I mean, I want one of you all to go for that one and let me know in a comment. Be braver than I was. 
That is a scary shot. You can definitely go for that. This is around the 245 yard mark. Look at this course is so tough. <laughs> We're going to have to have fade this. Bounce it on that slope and get a little bit lucky too. That's not the swing we needed. Are we in the water again? Get lucky. Get lucky. That's actually pretty lucky. I'll take it. Not bad Setting at all. Up for our third shot. Tough lie here though. 62 to 76%. That's beautiful. It's got a hold. Let's go. What a shot. Nice chip. Fantastic. <laughs> you never would have expected a if birdie would happen. Nice putt. That's your fourth birdie. From where we had the shot we had to hit, yeah, many of you probably thought the water was going to happen, one. honestly. When you saw me pull out that three wood, probably a lot of yeah, your, you all got nervous. A thing on this hole. Look at the caddy dock. Be like, Ryan, don't hit it in the water. Hit it into the hole. No more bogeys. <laughs> that's, the, that's Doc's inside in this golf hole. Please don't put this in the water. Don't dedicate a triple bogey. And it'll be a good day. Ah, be a good day, Ryan. No more dedicated triple bogeys here on the Gamer Builder YouTube channel. All right, grenade. Wherever you are out there on the World Wide Web, this ace is for you. 134. This is my type of golf hole. Downhill 15. Like, this is a pitching wedge perfection. Let me, sh let me show you all pitching wedge perfection. Great swing. That swing plan, beautiful. Very unique. <laughs> Welcome to Gamerability, home of the most unique That's swing planes shot. on YouTube. Every shot's Lining so exciting. You, you may see a new shape. <laughs> new shape there. The swing plane. Okay, 21 feet, downhill two inches. This birdie is for what grenade wear? Right by. Huh. Clearly. Clearly misread that one. For a nice well, that one's for you, Grenade. This one's on for a good you. line. Uh, there's a par. Right. Solid putt. Two points. That's three points and two points dedicated. Total of five so far. We got six holes left. Maybe even a bonus ice right. close dedication. Still two under after that one. 13 God, these fairways are so tough. Like, this course is is really difficult for players like me who don't have the greatest driving accuracy we're in trouble on courses like this <laughs> that's uh yeah It'd be nice to have that one back we're getting awfully close to these gamer ability squirrel easter eggs <laughs> i tell ya it's like grenade new when Grenade designed this course, thinking that there's a chance Ryan Gamer's going to play it. And if Ryan Gamer does play it, let's put squirrels in Ryan Gamer's typical spots. Where do you put squirrels so Ryan can see them? No, not in the fairway, right? You don't put them in the fairway. Ryan's never going to see that. You put them in the rough. You put them off the path that normal golfers go. And that's when you see them. <laughs> Oh my, that's actually a good screenshot moment. That squirrel posing for the picture, like, uh, look at that squirrel's face. <laughs> the squirrel's like, what are you doing, Orion? I thought we were friends. You're trying to hit a driver at me? <laughs> oh my. 67 to 77% live, wow. Might as well go for this. Watch out, squirrel. That's a good shot. Yeah, it's beautiful. I guess not beautiful. Beautiful has to probably be close to the hole, but that's a good shot. It's 
It's going to keep rolling. It's going to keep rolling down the hill. This is going to be a tough part. Okay, you're on the green. Just You're just super far away from the cup. That's it. That's my only complaint. Sink this and you'll pull down a birdie. Well, anybody got any ideas? 87 feet, uphill one foot. I got an idea. Just send it and make the putt. Imagine. If I make this, I might retire. This might be the final course showcase on the channel. What a great way to retire. No good. Imagine. So close, but yet so far away. The name of Ryan Gamer's future autobiography there. So close, but yet so far away. Sums up his golf game at times. Hey, we have to say though, Ryan's playing amazing right now in the PGA 2K23 career mode series. Playing in the major tournament. You will see the next video the day after this video goes live. You'll see on, a, on MLB opening day, March 28th. Ryan's crushing it. Wait till you see that next video. Going towards that hole. Oh, a little bit greens too are tough. On that one. This one's wow, bogey. this is one of those courses you can shoot and under par, but you could very well shoot 10 over. This is, this is tough. This, could, this golf course is so that easy to bogey top. for a player like me. A player like me right who can't hit fairways. Uh, I know many of you are wondering, Ryan, where's your fairway accuracy tutorial on the channel? Well, <laughs> clearly. Oop, that's no good. Clearly, you well, all know why I don't have a driving accuracy tutorial on the channel. Because I'm still trying to discover how to hit a fairway. Let's go three hybrid, loft a backspin, and attack it. That swing felt so good at the range. I'm telling you all, I was hitting perfect after perfect. I was feeling so confident. I fired I up for this video. Could, could head into the rough, though. Dreaming about Reds winning the World Series. That's going to miss and the well, green, unfortunate. We lost our swing. And this is your <laughs> third shot. Speaking of baseball, you all you all are, are going to want to watch the MLB The Show 24 videos here coming up in the Road to the Show series. I'm telling you, they're electric. You would not want to, if you have not watched the MLB The Show 24 career series, trust me, watch it. It is amazing. And also, make sure you watch the videos the rest of this week and weekend into Monday. Trust me. They are electric. Probably some of the best videos on the channel that I have ever created. So, trust me, watch those videos. The 28th, through the weekend. That's all I'm going to say. Not going to say anything else. Just watch them. Not going to give this anything away. Footer. They're pretty awesome. I would say one of them is going to go down as probably the best video on the channel. Other than my Predator AG Impossible Challenge run. This is probably number two. Let's send this in. It's getting there. Oh. I tell you, these greens are tough. And this one for bogey. Who made Grenade mad? <laughs> wasn't me, was it? I mean, what grenade where? What have you done? And that one drops. That's back-to-back -back bogey. <laughs> Ryan may okay, not be going back to California. <laughs> okay. And here we have a lovely par four hole. Look at this. I mean, you can't go right or left. <laughs> Let's just send it. This is a very well-designed course, though. Like, you talk about a course that requires precision... And strategy this is amazing like th this is a beautifully designed golf course to be very tough but also fair and this one's about 180 this is a out. tough but fair course <laughs> wait what did i get everything i just said ah! forget everything i just said about tough but fair what have you done grenade Oh, 
I can picture the designer watching this, like, getting nervous when I said tough but fair and then knowing what green I'm about to see. I'm not afraid. Can we get a kick left? The tougher the golf holes are, better Ryan Gamer plays. Don't you do it, ball. I'm okay with that. Settle down, Ryan. Act like you've been there before. Ryan's, Ryan needs to slow down the fist pump until after we don't send this putt in the water. <laughs> Gotta make this steady left to right. Come on. One time, please. Go in. Oh, it's getting there. Oh, that's uh, going to wind up short. Golf's a painful yeah, game, you know? This left for par on this one. This left is short. Nothing worse than leaving a birdie shot, birdie yeah, putt one, short, but you got to be scared of sending it into the water because it you will go in the water. Sitting right at even par. Here we go. Let's stick this one nice and close to the pit. What happened to our birdie train? Our birdie train company recently has been amazing. We've had so many birdies recently. I guess it just forgot to show up. Or maybe you all forgot to call it in. <laughs> so, something's going on with our new birdie train. 146 downhill two feet. I'm going to go eight iron. We have one shot dedication left. Let's do it. What grenade where? Wherever you are out there. This one's for you. Dedicated ace. You better hold on to your seat, YouTube. This could go in. Going a bit left of the pin. That's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll be on the green eventually. Hold on to your seat, YouTube. Oh, hope 16th. you all were holding on for that one. Hopefully you all were holding on. I'm sure some of you about fell out of your seat out of that perfection. Ah! Well, well, well. That one's for you, Grenade. That one's for you. What a shot. It's going to roll off. Of course it does. Don't you do it. Here we go. Let's let's save par on this one. For every designer's favorite, the par dedication, you get to seven points on the video to the designer. Well, the putt appears to be online. That one's and for you. What grenade where? Wow, this course is tough. But honestly, when I was at the range, I was filling it. Okay, and then, stay right there at even power you know what they one. say about good round Heads sessions. Up, blowing left to right here. 364 yard drivable par 4 is not drivable. Remember when I said... <laughs> don't need to bring plenty of golf balls? What was I talking about? I'm going for this. No, let's not. Let's not get carried away, Ryan. Let's play the game. Grenade wants you to go for it. Go for it. Don't fall into Grenade's trap. Hey, what Grenade where has it won? Not yet. We're sitting even. We can still get under par. The course only wins if we get par. No, I guess the course only wins if you get over par, oh, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll approve that. And here's our second shot on the 17th. Okay, pin location number one is insane <laughs> when you get to some of these holes on the back nine pin location number one is scary wow but i'm not afraid i should be too much yeah i crushed it that's unfortunate at least it's not in the water though it could have been worse good job Thanks, John. Here's a putt for 19 feet. We can make this. 19 feet, downhill one inch, or three inches. Kind of worried about the impossible challenge uh, this this week. 
Kind of worried about the impossible challenge this week with my swing right now. This is not what you want on a Wednesday before the impossible challenge run. Looking really good. Yes! Get yes, in there! It's in there. Woo! What a putt. Just extremely, extremely fine work. Extremely, extremely fine work, John says. Two yeah, extremely. Go down to one under par. Wind blowing left to right on this one. Huh. I tell you, th these, this course was amazing. You talk about the strategy involved on this golf course and precision off the tee. It feels like a major championship course. It really does. It, every single golf hole is not only is it difficult on the strategies involved with the driving off the tee. It's also difficult in the next strategy shot into the green. I mean, you can leave yourself with some insane putts. This was a very well designed golf course. I might have took that all back if we sent that into the range. <laughs> it's like, wait, what did I just say? We'll have that. And this is somewhere around 155 yards out. We have a chance here. We have a chance. I know some of you are getting nervous. You were hoping I forgot. We could do a bonus eyes closed dedication. We could. The question is, should we? And the answer to that is usually no. But that answer being a no encourages me to do it even more. I'm feeling it. What grenade where? Bonus eyes closed dedication. Right now. I'm not afraid. Like look. Grenade is trying to put this pin here to be like oh. Go to the right. I'm going to go for it all right. But it's I'm going to do it with my eyes closed. Here we go. A little bit loft and backspin. Oh. Clear the mechanism. This one's for you, Grenade. I'm feeling good. Heard green. Well, that'll do for now. Setting up here with a extremely long putt. Yes! Oh! Wow, will that would get the heart rate up. Yes! That one's for you, Grenade. Come on. I must have fasted it. Or slow I must have slowed it. It felt like a fast, to be honest. Now, this is a dangerous putt. Who put this pin there? I need to have a talk to with the designer. Bonus eyes closed birdie. Here we go. For a grenade. I heard a lot of cheering. If the feet. cheers are correct, that was close. I mean, the cheers were loud. I'm not quite sure if we're here that that putt was as close as the fans were making it out to see. Where are the fans? Are those squirrels? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, they're at the racetrack, right? Where are the fans? Okay, it's kind of spooky. I don't see a fan. I don't see a fan in sight. Had they been cheering this whole time? And I've just missed it? Where are they? Are they in the water? Okay, that's kind of creepy. That's when you just... That's when you just hit the putt. And be on your way. This one's for you, Grenade. This putt's going. Yes! Okay, ending your round Nine points dedicated punch. to the designer. Well done. Hey, one under, I'll take it. That is an extremely difficult course. Especially for somebody like me who misses a lot of fairways. That's excellent design. That was excellent. Wow.
That was an amazing golf course. Where were those fans at? Can somebody find them? <laughs> wow, they were loud. Okay, so the thing about that course, if you hit 64% of fairways on a course with heavy rough everywhere, small greens, narrow fairways, it'd be tough to break even. And we did break even. That's 64 fairways, 55 gers. Yeah, that's a major championship course right there. Put a few, put a lot more fans out there. You turn it into a major championship atmosphere. I don't know. Whoever those fans were, were really making some noise with that bonus eyes closed dedication, weren't they? But now I'm trying to think that were they really doing that the whole time and I just missed it? Huh. 1.56 bucks per hole. Not great. 70 on the scorecard. So 100 par. That was a great golf course. That is two birdies, three birdies on the front, a two, two under on the front. And then, well, those bogeys, they were flowing on that back nine. We shot one over on the back. It's a good thing we had a better front. That is very well designed. That's an easy favorite. That's an easy five star. That is a tough course. That's one of those courses that's going to frustrate some people. <laughs> you know, pin location number one is going to frustrate some people. That course was not meant to be easy from start to finish. You've got to be focused. You've got to really plan your shots and you've got to be smart. If not, you're going to find yourself 10 over thinking about what just went on during that round. That course will crush you if you're not ready for it. Tehachapi Trails. Let's see if I got the pronunciation right again. Tehachapi. Yep. Pretty close. <laughs> Pretty close. We'll take it. I'm just, hey, I never get pronunciations right, so I'll take it. But thank you for watching this video to the end. Thank you to What Grenade Wear for designing this phenomenal golf course. If you all got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more, and you can check the full playlist down in the description. If you're looking for more of my course showcase videos, there is plenty of other content here you can watch on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel here for PGA 2K23, but also plenty of other sports games and other games. So stay tuned. There's even more content on my second channel, Gamer Ability 2. One of the most popular series over there is The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part 2 full playthrough. So if you're into The Last of Us, you want to watch a first time player play those here in 2024, watch those series. I highly recommend it. I will see you all in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.